Jacqueline Fernandez. Nice. Can we once again make some noise, ladies and gentlemen? You look gorgeous. Thank you. Oh my God, this is so amazing. My first ever masterclass in India. I've been wanting to do one for the longest time. Of course, um, an even better thing for me is the fact that it's with the body shop. My favorite, um, you know, they are such an ethical, natural and powerful brand. Their philosophy always being play it clean, wear it bold. Um, they're completely animal friendly, you know, and uh, against animal cruelty. And that's something I stand for. Everything about them, their social causes, everything is beauty with a heart. So, um, yeah, just being here today, um, you know, doing a masterclass, of course, also with, uh, you know, the makeup from the body shop and stuff from my own signature line. Uh, I couldn't ask for more. It's such a proud moment. So thank you guys all for being here today. It's, um, it really means a lot to me. And I hope you girls all get some cool tips and tricks and um, stuff that you guys find useful as well to use. So I hope you guys like makeup. I hope the guys also, you guys like makeup. <laughs> you can definitely use some tips and tricks. I mean, Sean was just doing his makeup backstage. He's going to kill me for saying that. But uh, <laughs> sometimes some, a guy can use some help too. But uh, yeah, enjoy the uh, tutorials, guys. If you have any questions, uh, me and Sean are here for you. So feel free. Alrighty. Oh, I just spoke really fast. <laughs> oh. Sorry, we just have two mics. <laughs> All right, late. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, now let's dive in directly and welcome the guy um, who is a brilliant, who's brilliant in his master strokes, highlighting, contouring, everything. Please, please hoot and make some noise for Sean Mo! Big congratulations for all the artistry you've so shown to us over the years and beautiful work that Jacqueline and Sean have done together, supporting Body Shop in every <laughs> cause. Yes, I was very excited. Um, this is my first ever masterclass in Mumbai, that though with Body Shop, which means a lot because I've been working with them for so many years because of Jackie. And yeah, I'm really excited because it's the first masterclass, so it's super excited. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You were excited, no? But you guys did something in London. We actually did, yes. did a yeah. class before, but this is our first masterclass uh, here in, in India. India. Oh, sorry. This is our first masterclass here in India, and um, yeah, so uh, we we're just we're very very stoked about it. But yeah. I'm very excited to show you something that we have on the screens, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I'm very, oh my very God! <laughs> I'm really Sean, excited. All eyes on you, Sean. <laughs> and it's not only me. Don't I think there mistake. are more than 100 women over here uh, who yes. are excited. <laughs> <laughs> all right, ladies and gentlemen, are you excited? Can I get a bit of excitement here? Uh, yes. Yeah. All yeah. right. <laughs> so let's play it clean, red bold. Over to you, Sean. All right. Okay, so what are we going to start with, Sean? So we created two looks for this okay. event. And the first one is uh, the fresh rose, the um, ash, ash rose. roses. <laughs> so guys, I'm seriously a little bit stressed, but it will come bigger, better. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so ash of rose, which is more fresh. You guys know it's the bridal season coming up, and everybody wants to look really fresh. There's a lot of day functions. So I'm starting with the day look, which is more or a romantic evening look also, which is not really harsh, really soft, lots of pinks, which is in trend right now. And Jackie has come up with her own line, the first Bollywood actress who has come up with her own line, which is amazing. And I'm really blessed that I saw the journey because she took me also to London. <laughs> so yeah, I think... We actually, we actually created a couple of like uh, products on our, by ourselves as well. So <laughs> that was really fun. And I, I still have a memorabilia from the first lipstick that we had made, which never, which never really made it to the stands, <laughs> <laughs> but I kept it anyway. All right. So I'm going to, as you guys all know, cleansing, toning, moisturizing is the most important before doing a makeup which is really important because if you guys don't cleanse, tone, and moisturize your skin really well, uh, the base doesn't sit on your face, yeah. and Jackie loves the skin vitamin. needs to be prepped, basically, so um, if you want that glowy, kind of dewy kind of look, uh, it's really, really cool. It's really, really good for your skin. It's really good for the look as well if you do prep it beforehand. So we couldn't stress this enough. 
Um, I use the vitamin E range, so I cleanse, I use the toner, and on top of that, so this is it over here, um, the um, vitamin E range, and um, right after cream. that, I use the sunscreen. So, I mean, guys, skip anything you want, but don't skip sunscreen. And the Skin Defense has been a really, really big, um, you know, help for my skin as well. It's just improved its texture in a really, really big way. So, uh, yeah, don't forget sunscreen. Sunscreen is the most important, please. Otherwise... And there's one little thing I do as well. Um, it's a little trick that I learned. Um, I used to ice my face a lot before going on shoot. And um, now Body Shop has this really, really cool product. It's called Ice Cube. And um, is it there? I'm just looking for it. Can't see. It's something yeah. I, you know, I it's keep here, in my here, bag here, all here. the time. It's it's really amazing. It actually has the effect of ice on your on your, you know, eyes. So, um, and if you try putting ice on your eyes, you'll notice that immediately the eyes kind of just have this glow and they kind of just pop open. But here it is in a product, so you can actually carry it around with you. So I, I'm starting to use it. It's really good. And you, the plus point of this product is you guys can even use it during the day on top of the makeup. It's just really cooling and it freshes your face. So I love to start with this. Prepping the face is really important, guys. Icing every day in the morning. If you can't get to ice, just use the ice cube. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. Now we are starting with the foundation. For the first look, I'm using the uh, cushion foundation, which is really amazing by the body shop. Uh, it's really light, and it has... Uh, Really, uh, it's really lightweight, and it the has cushion this amazing cushion. Um, one of the best things about the cushion foundation uh, is the fact that it actually has aloe vera in it. Uh, I always felt, for some reason, every time I was putting foundation on my face, I was like, I don't know, like I felt like it was clogging my pores or just like it wasn't like healthy for my skin. The best thing about this foundation is it actually has really, really good um, products like aloe vera um, that uh, just actually benefit the skin. So, um, and the cushion acts as a buffer, so once you use this foundation, you'll realize, oh my god, my, my skin actually feels like it's just been like buffed and it's just like become really glowy. So yeah, it has a really nice satiny effect. So if you guys are planning to go anywhere in the day, it's really useful and it's really easy to carry it around. So it's in compact form. You guys don't need to powder really after this. The amazing thing about this is even if you have really good skin, just by using this foundation, all of a sudden, the skin just starts glowing. So this is like the one thing I have to use on my skin because it has just the most amazing effect. It gives an amazing shine to your skin. And in our weather, um, it doesn't make it, it doesn't turn out oily. It actually just like turns out really fresh and dewy. Um, and it's lightweight, so you don't have to worry about it looking oily. Yeah. Now, after this, I'm going to use the... Wait, That's actually how Sean does foundation on my face. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough because it's He really hardly light. puts it, you know, foundation, he hardly she doesn't need, applies it. She has really it. healthy skin. <laughs> but, um, you know, if you do have coverage to you, you know, to... Uh, if you do need coverage, it actually also gives good coverage. So you can just apply it even more. For the second look, I'm going to show you guys for a heavier look, which is the second look. There, I'm going to use a product which has more coverage. Now, the second is... The amazing, amazing, amazing uh, shades adjusting drop, which is do two use. You can use it for two different variations. One is if you guys feel that your base is really light, if you guys want to make your base according to your skin tone, you guys can just use one drop of it. It's really nice. And otherwise, if you guys feel like you guys want to do contouring, you guys can straight use this product. So I think a lot of people, a lot of girls out there have a problem with the foundation and the color of their, their foundation. Uh, and I've noticed this on a lot of girls, like their makeup may be amazing, but somehow their foundation just does not match their skin tone. So it ends up just looking really bad. So the most amazing thing about this, um, these uh, uh, adjusting... Shades of adjusting. Shades, yeah. Ad adjusting drops. Shade adjusting, Shade adjusting drops, drops. Sorry, yeah, it's like... um, is that you can actually alter the uh, color of your foundation. So I, um, most of the times, go like two or three shades darker than what I usually am. Um, on camera, it just ends up looking a lot better. We can see all this flash going on over here. Uh, if we don't do contouring, if we don't go a little bit darker, our faces just end up looking kind of flat. So if you do have a function to go to where you will be photographed or, or stuff like that, I mean... Nowadays, everyone's pretty much like, you know, getting photographed or photographing themselves. So <laughs> it does actually help. And 
The plus point of this product is also it can be used as a control. Every woman loves to control right now these days. Controlling is the most trending thing. So, but the biggest plus point. Even Sean loves is, to contour. Of course, I love contouring. <laughs> so contoured a lot today. Of course, mm. to, it's today especially <laughs> important day. So this is amazing. This gives you you can easily contour your face. And I'm using the Body Shop brushes. Guys, the Body Shop brushes are really amazing. The reason why I'm saying they're amazing okay, you is... you contour, I'll talk about the brushes. Okay. They so, are uh, Otherwise, synthetic. we're going to be here all day. Okay. <laughs> um, so the brushes Sean is actually using on my face, the Body Shop brushes, um, they're unlike any brushes you guys would have ever used. They're extremely soft. Actually, they're, they're synthetic. They're 100% right. synthetic. So no animal products, uh, completely cruelty-free, um, which actually makes it even more, even softer than any other brush you'd ever use. Um, on top of that, it's coated with charcoal, which actually makes it antibacterial. Um, it's non-porous, which again is antibacterial. So you will pro possibly have like the least amount of um, impurities and stuff on your face because it, these brushes actually take care of that. And at the mm -hmm. same time, they do their job perfectly, so. Very well, like it blends the base really well. So this is a uh, contouring brush that he's actually using. Yeah. Um, so it Sean, works. give the tips on contouring. Yeah, come on, Sean. So every face is, process. <laughs> every face is different. Like if you guys think like some people, they need contouring on their cheekbones, some people on their jawline, some people on the nose. Jackie is really blessed uh, genetically with really nice high cheekbones, which we have to cut it off for the films a little bit. So <laughs> for Jackie, it's a different face cut. Yeah, so basically I do have extremely high cheekbones um, and I have a strong jaw. So um, what we usually do to soften it for screen... Wow, what was that? Okay, okay. So what we do to soften it for screen is we actually do a little bit of contouring on the cheekbones and we do a little bit of contouring along the jawline. So, um, and make sure you blend it into the neck as well. Very um, important. It just gives an overall softer appearance, um, definitely helps on screen. And also when you guys contour, make sure that you guys contour on the side of the neck because a lot of people just, they just contour the jawline. So what I always take care of is I always make sure that I sh uh, contour the side of the neck so that the color looks really natural. And you guys also can contour a little bit on your... Yeah, because you don't want people to know that you're wearing makeup, right? So <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's the most important thing. <clears throat> so you guys can highlight what all you guys want to highlight and then blend it really well so that it has no st strong lines. And yeah. And the nose, that's it. Yeah, that's it. So we are I mean, done just with like, the Just like everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> just contour your entire face. <laughs> Is it? Shall I have a question. Does the contouring change with the shape, uh, shape of the face? So, of course, every any face special is technique for that? that you yes, might like to share? every face is different. Like some faces, they need contour more. Some, like Jackie genuinely doesn't need much contouring in real life. But for films, she needs. In real life, if you guys can see her, she's really having a skinny face. But on a screen, it's really important because you look like a few kilos extra. Thanks. <laughs> Which everyone you are not. Does. Everyone does. Huh? Yeah, everyone. But yeah, but I mean, like on saying that, I mean, a lot of people love to contour along here and create cheekbones. That's one thing that we actually don't do. No. We actually contour on the actual cheekbone. So that it looks much more softer. Some people want an effect of like, you know, um, maybe they don't, they don't have a strong jawline, so then there's no point actually cutting down or contouring the jawline. Um, some people have like really slim noses. So basically I've contoured everything. <laughs> <laughs> no, we contoured a little bit. So, but yeah, certain people you don't, but yeah. Now the contouring bit is over, guys. Now my favorite trick, which I always do, is using the pink lip and cheek stain, which is amazing of Body Shop. And what I do is, I, after the contouring of the face, I always say, smile a little bit. Only on the apple of the cheeks to get that freshness. And with your finger, just blend it in. So that it looks really soft and fresh. I know, one of my favorite, favorite things to use um, from all makeup is blusher. I just feel it just adds so much color and life to some, you know, to a, to a face. And so this is something I carry around with me all the time. And it, it works on the lips, it works on the cheeks. Um, Sometimes she uses it on the eyes also. Eyeshadow. <laughs> which you should not, according to them. But uh, yeah, a little bit is... 
Sometimes, in Sometimes desperate situations, <laughs> Viral could be standing anywhere, you know, behind uh, uh, your house sometimes. <laughs> in those desperate situations, you need a little bit of like, you know, eyeshadow. <laughs> so now I'm going to use the really fleshy face and body brush. And I'm going to use the compact powder so that it all goes into the skin really well. So lastly, uh, Sean uses the powder just to kind of seal the makeup in. Yeah. Tell them where you bring the powder. So I'm going to put the lighter powder only on the uh, middle of the face, where I want to highlight the laugh line. Look up, look up. On the under the eyes. eyes. And now, for the outer corner of the face, I never use the same compact powder. I use the honey. Uh, body shop bronzer, which is really nice. So I try to avoid the lighter compact on the middle of the face. So the compact which I'm going to use now for the sides is the bronzer, which makes your face more softer. So I am use only the bronzer on the side of the face. So basically, wherever he's contoured, he just makes sure he, that he uh, covers that up with the bronzer as well. Bronzer itself. So it actually blends in a lot nicer. Um, it gives it a more even look as well, wherever you've contoured. Exactly. Now, going to the eyes. Eyes is the most important factor, I feel, when you do makeup, because that's where you highlight everything. And today's look is very soft, very pinky, very girly. So for that, I'm going to use Very the natural, girls. <laughs> very natural, <laughs> so like I no makeup. So for this multiple colored eyeshadow look, which I'm going to use the Down to Earth palette, which is here. Yeah, this is the Down to Earth palette, the peach palette. And before using the color, if you guys want to have a stronger color, I'm going to use the eye stick. So uh, why do you do that, Sean? So the pigmentation becomes much more stronger, and you can see, and it holds also the, uh, the uh, pigment longer. So there you guys won't see any grease. So I'm going to put it from the uh, inner corner of the eyes. This is the golden, right? This is the golden, golden skin with shimmer. So till almost 70% of the eyelid, I'm going to cover with it, so that you guys can see that beautiful shimmer. Can you guys see it? So the same I'm going to do here. It's magic, guys. Even using this eye stick by Body Shop, just by its own, does magic. You guys actually don't need to apply another color on top of it. It's really nice. It's really easy to use also. And also, you, whatever you guys are using on the eyes, you guys can use anywhere on the face. So this, certain people even love to use on the lips a little bit in the middle to get the sheen. Oh, yeah. the so pouch. you guys can use it anywhere. Like any eye uh, products for the eyes, you guys can use it anywhere on your face. <laughs> and then she gets an eye massage so that I'm so used to seeing it in front of a mirror. No, me too. I'm like, oh no, I can't see what's going on. So I mix it really softly so that there's no strong lines. Are you going to hold a mirror for you? Yeah, I might. I might have to. Where is it? It's here. Oh, I forgot about it. Okay. Guys, can you see it? It's really subtle, actually, what he does. He gets the inner lid yeah, uh, with yeah. a lighter shade. He gets the outer um, section of the eyelid with a slightly darker shade, and he blends it in. It's very, very subtle, but it makes a huge difference, especially on my eyes. All of a sudden, my eyes just look rounder. They look bigger. So it creates a really nice illusion. Now I'm going to use the peach matte color. I'm just going to start with this, this color. Look at this side, Jax. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm going to just blend in the color. Is this the color palette? This is the down to earth palette, okay. guys. They have, it's Jackie's range. Yay. So it's really like, I'm really proud to see this palette. <laughs> Look this side. So I'm going to use this peach color only in the inner corner of the eyes. And now, after the inner corner, I'm going to use the shimmery portion, which is to make the eyes look bigger, like comes out a little more. So I'm going to use that color in the middle. Can you use that one now? 
First, I use the matte peach, now the shimmery one. I'm using the shimmery one, the middle of the eye. You guys can even use your fingers if you guys want. And dab it in. Now for the outer corner, I'm going to use the Body Shop purple color, which is uh, the Petroria. Petroria. Oh, this is a difficult one for Sean. <laughs> Petroria Amethyst. Exactly. <laughs> Stress. So I'm By going the to way, mix. guys, Sean is actually um, from Germany. Born and raised in Germany. He's actually uh, um, from Kerala, and, uh, originally from Kerala, but born and raised in Germany. So, um, English, English is, is really way <laughs> far from being his mother tongue, <laughs> because it's either German or it's Malayalam, Malayalam. that they speak at home. So, Sorry guys. <laughs> cool. So, in the outer corner, I'm going to mix these two colors to get the really nice blend of freshness. What did I say? Was that the purple? Yeah, look, look up. And I'm going to bring in this color. Guys, can you guys see it? Because there's a lot of light and I'm really not able to. Can they see really it oh, in the light? Look up. If you guys have any questions as well, I can, I can probably hear you from there. So Please. if you have any questions, they can easily ask. We'll have a round of questions at the end as okay, well. Okay, all right, cool. Yeah. But even during the tutorial. Yeah. yeah, sure, sure. If there's anything you want to ask, I can hear you from here, so don't worry about it. <laughs> yes, we want the look on first. On eyes or on like whatever it is, if you want to ask anything. Yeah, restricted to makeup. <laughs> they will. They will. <laughs> <laughs> So there's a question, Sean. Yes. What is the absolute no-no for eye makeup? Like something that you should just not do, you know, any uh, age group. And then you can probably tell something for a specific age group. Um, I would say... Something that may be a trend, but you think that it's not great? Uh, what is it? There's but so many know, things. Actually, I mean, more than, um, you know, closing yourself off to trends and what not to do, you know, I think, like, see, that's a matter of your own preference and we're no one to judge other people's preference of like makeup or how they want to like you know present themselves but I mean there's certain things that would probably suit you and not suit you it's probably important to know those things like um, I would say dark eyes and dark lips is a no no but I it, love it <laughs> Jackie loves it you know what I mean like everyone has their own preference and like it's it's uh, you know so it's, it's difficult for us to actually make a judgment on that I and mean, I don't think we really should people should be free and entitled to do whatever they want to when it comes to makeup or dressing however it is but like saying like I said it is important to know maybe there's something that's not suiting you maybe that is something that you know like for me I think um, what doesn't work is two dark eyes yeah if for I, Jackie's face I've realized eyeliner makes looks the best like whatever we do I know that so nice suits me the most yeah I know that suits, suits me the most, most so, so I it usually go with that person to person. um having an extremely dark um uh what is that called eyes. Smoky yeah eyes. smoky eyes sometimes that looks a little bit like too strong on me so that's something I wouldn't go with but so it depends from person to person yeah. like I, I, I think, think know your face know what actually works on you know what you know but don't be afraid to like if there's something you really like don't be afraid to like do that that's who you are so it's fine <laughs> So now I'm going to use the black cardinal of the body shop and I'm going to only use it on the corner of her eyes in the end. To make the 
this look a little bit more intense so I'm using only on the outer corner of her eyes I've used it now with a angular brush of body shop I'm going to use the same color I've used right now oh, and make it a little bit more stronger by adding these two colors so you guys don't see really a black black line it's more smudged it's there it's not there types Eyes, uh, yes, depending on different eye shapes. It's exactly the same procedure how we contour the face. I is exactly the same procedure. If you guys look, I've used a lighter shade here to highlight the eyelid, and then of course I'm starting contouring. It's the same procedure. Like whatever you guys want to project, you have to use the lighter color. Whatever you guys want to bring in, you guys have to use a darker color. And that's exactly what I did. I used a darker color around her. Uh, grease line so that the eyes looks really large and looks gives an almond shape so the eyes are almost done now the most important of course is the mascara how many of you guys love mascara <laughs> I'm is damn it, sure all of best? you <laughs> where's the eyelash curler yeah. there's one step I hope you got 120% of us love mascaras huh? 120% of us love mascaras, yes. we can't go out without mascaras. Of course, mascara is a must, it's a real, real must. Honestly, like sometimes if I've just carried like way too little makeup in my bag, um, yeah. just a mascara, I make sure at least that's part because of my makeup look. kit. Because like you can use that even like to give yourself like a little bit of like eyeliner along the, you know, along the lid. And mascara, I mean, it's, it's so important. It just makes your eyes pop. So exactly. yeah. Mascara is the most important, guys. Now I'm going to curl the lashes, which is really, really important, guys. Curling lashes are one of the most important factors to make the eyes look really big. Even if you don't have the mascara and you just curl your lashes? It works. I mean, it doesn't work as effectively, but it does definitely opens up the eyes. And now it comes to the mascara, and I'm going to use the Lash Fiber Extension. How many of you guys have used it? One, one person. person. <laughs> Only one person? Yeah, me too. Okay, oh, there two, you go. three, okay, four, good. five, <laughs> many. So tell me, there is a trick to use. Okay, guys, do you know what does mean the uh, fiber uh, lash extension? So it's one side fiber and one side is the mascara. So how it gets the fake effect is, Jackie, explain. <laughs> okay, you do. Okay. Okay, so basically, um, you add the mascara. Okay, and after applying the mascara, you can apply the other side, which are these little like fiber extensions. So just as the effect of putting extensions in your in your lashes, this gives an extremely effective effect because it just creates volume and um, it just latches onto the mascara. So it creates like I mean, the effect is absolutely amazing. Like you won't even need extensions after this. Can you guys see it? What I did? So you have to. After the, after the uh, fiber, you have to put mascara the mascara back on. Yeah. So you put the mascara back on. It's seriously the most amazing effect. I actually don't have that many, like my lashes aren't as thick and luscious and curly. So this really, really works for me because on screen as well, we can't really use um, falsies and stuff like that. So this gives such a natural effect. Look at the effect, guys. Can you guys see it? It just, it just gets audio. that fake effect because it, <laughs> the, the, the first mascara coat makes it helps it also to stick on to your lashes. Because in the starting, Jackie used to be like, I don't want this mascara, shot. Then we came to know, okay, this you know, is the easiest way. We, we actually did it wrong in the beginning. We, yeah. We used to use the fibers first and then use the mascara. mascara. And what was happening was on my eyelash, the fibers are getting all stuck because there was no mascara coating. So he actually advised me wrong. <laughs> but now she's like, yes, I love it every day. It's the easiest way. You guys don't need to use even fake lashes. They are amazing, guys. This is one thing you guys should have in your kit. It's a 
part of the signature line. Yes. Two point. And they come in many different colors as well. Yeah, so yeah. That's really in trend now. Um, Shan, you could show the colors as well. There is a blue one which I have kept for my next look, yeah. but they have a beautiful green one also which yes. we have and used. The uh, there's a purple there's also. A purple, yeah. The green one you guys must have seen in the photo shoot we have done for uh, the body shop we have used it last year. Guys, can you see the difference? If you've done full eye makeup, don't forget to lower mascara, the bottom lashes, because the effect then just looks complete. So we always make sure that we put mascara on the bottom lash as well. Shine, any tips for applying mascara? Applying mascara, the easiest is Jackie knows how to do it. When you guys apply the mascara, Jax, she gives the pressure so that it goes till the roots of your lashes. So every time I, I, I hold the portion in this area, Jackie gives pressure so that you get the mascara till inside your room. So it will look really nice and fuller then. Here guys, this is the magic mascara I think everyone should have in your kit because it gives you it's such an amazing It actually looks really thick guys, trust thing. me my eyelashes are not this <laughs> thick and they're not this long looking, it's the fiber actually that's created the illusion. So um, if you haven't tried it out, please try it out because it's great for an everyday use as well. Yes. Now it's time to define the eyebrows and I love the Body Shop uh, eyebrow definer because it's three in one. One is the brown color which you guys all need to define the eyebrows. So for Jackie, how do I do eyebrows? So basically, um, I, we only do the top part of my eyebrows. Um, they're quite thick and dark anyway, but um, it's just cleaner if you just, I mean, fill them in a little bit. So for me though, we just fill in the top part. Um, the bottom part, I feel, would just kind of like create too less of a gap between my eye and the eyebrows. So doing the top part of the eyebrow kind of just gives enough space in between the eye, the eyebrows, and it just creates also a little bit more thickness. Um, so I guess everyone's eyebrows are so different. So just figure out which one kind of works best for you. Um, filling in your eyebrows always, you know, gives it a much cleaner look. Yes. Brushing your eyebrows is something that's important. also very important. Which is the biggest plus one of this brush. You guys have the brush There's with it. actually a brush as well. It just, um, it fluffs them out, you know, and it cleans them up. So don't forget to brush your eyebrows. And the third one is the highlighter, which is really nice to define the eyebrows. And what I do is I only use it in the front of our eyes, it's like not throughout, only in the front and till the arch. I never bring it down because when you bring out any highlighter below the, the brow, you will start feeling your eyes, your eyes are droopy. So what I do is I just bring it from the front till the middle of the eyebrow and I stop it there because that will not give you the illusion of droopy eyes. I mean like, yeah, but exactly, everyone's eyebrows are so different. So if you actually have like maybe higher eyebrows like that, you could probably do it, but because mine go quite downward, um, it's again, you know, makeup is all about illusion and uh, highlighting things, um, maybe hiding flaws, if anything. Um, but at the end of the day, also just having fun. So we've, I mean, we've worked together for so long. Me and Sean have actually worked together for like, seven years now, <laughs> so yeah. we've figured out way too many things. And the most amazing thing is you can continue. Uh, with makeup, there's like so much to always discover. Yeah. So now what are you Yeah. So the eyes are done. What do you guys think? The eyes are defined, it's a much lighter. Come on, look. I think Guy Sean deserves one. an applause for this. <laughs> <laughs> He's under so much pressure right now. I can't believe he did oh eyes. My God, I, oh my I can't believe he did eyes for me in front of an audience. Oh my God, and that too, like, really, really nicely, Sean. <laughs> so, the eyes are done. Now, the face is almost done. Now, the final one is the lips. For the lips, I... See, I look 
completely different from when I came on stage <laughs> to now. Everything has just been like highlighted or accentuated or even like contoured down. So, and I think that's what we love. Like me and Sean both have this like love for makeup. It's been used since the beginning of time. I mean, like in the times of like Cleopatra and stuff. And oh, you know, yeah. there's so many things to keep discovering. It is an art form at the end of the day. You know, it's something that you um, can, I think, just be so creative with. So, yeah. <laughs> no, it's amazing. That's really, really cool. It is definitely, I mean, like, if you guys have any questions, this is um, Ashes of Rose. Ashes of Rose. Sean. And, and uh, this is something I think that can really go transcend from day to night. If you're looking for that natural look, if you're someone who's not into too much makeup. Oh my God, I just saw Sean's mom. I'm a good day. <laughs> Great mom. Um, yeah, so I mean, I think it just, this is something, you know, this is one of the, um, you know, uh, a different kind of like looks we have created for you guys today. Exactly. Uh, we'll be moving into our next one very soon, but if... Yes, but we questions. are going to open uh, the floor for five questions only. So if you have any questions, you can ask. Do you guys have any uh, questions exactly about here. this look or like maybe about your face shape or if there's any like makeup tips for you guys? Anything on products? Yes? You know what? It is so lightweight. Honestly, I mean, this is something I use on a daily, daily basis. Um, it, I would probably say it is because it's so light. You just, it just absorbs in your skin. You won't feel it. And um, yeah, it stays. It, it's actually, it's it lightweight. Stays, it's but it, it it's long lasting. lasting. It is long lasting. It is definitely long lasting. lasting. Definitely. Yeah. Thank you. You should definitely try it if you haven't tried it. <laughs> yes. Hi, my name is Urvashi. That's the fab makeup that you've done, first of all. Um, I just quickly wanted to have, I had a question for Shyan actually. There's one of your videos where you've mentioned uh, that you're not in support of using primers beneath the foundation. So your views on that? Sorry, sorry, once more. You don't use primers under your foundation. I don't, I don't. Yeah, I so didn't use it here also, but I'm not a huge fan of uh, primers because... But you know, it's something, I mean, like, it's, it depends. See, my skin actually doesn't need, uh, you know, a primer um, because I come moisturized, I come prepped already. But there are some times where primers, I mean, like, if let's say you, you know, there are certain primers that actually make this, you know, make the foundation pop, make the concealer yes, stay. stay. Especially when you're in European countries, I can understand because it's a cold country. You need that layer and layer so that the, the, the waste stays. But India is already very humid. But it depends so on your skin. Country. It, it depends, really depends on, skin. on your skin. If you have extremely dry skin, I would, I would say, yeah, use it. But for Jackie and for films also, I feel primer is just a layer of makeup, which, which makes it just heavier and heavier. So she is really particular about cleanser, toner, and moisture, and sunscreen. She never comes. Even if I ask her, please, don't use today's sunscreen, she will be like, no, no, no. Without <laughs> sunscreen, she doesn't go out only. Guys, it's anti-aging. So, okay. <laughs> So on top of a sunscreen, then again, primer is actually not used. For yeah, but then it, again, I would say it depends. It depends Try it if it works for you. If it works, you know, it works for you. If it doesn't, then I mean, you know, it's yeah. something that he just doesn't use. <laughs> I don't use it. Yeah. It does make your uh, makeup last, just stay longer. But uh, yeah, they're for touch up so I don't do it <laughs> for sure. <laughs> I'm there always for touch up so <laughs> there's no need. <laughs> Welcome. Anything? Um, firstly, that's a. <laughs> Firstly, that's a beautiful look that you've done on Jacqueline. I think oh. she looks gorgeous. Oh, she doesn't need me, actually. She's, she, <laughs> uh, she looks the same how she was. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I love the bond you guys share. <laughs> I would want to compliment you for that as well. Okay, so my question is, I just loved what you've done on her. How about using a white pencil on the same look? Would that work according to you? Of course, white pencil in the waterline. Yeah, line. Uh, like inside the waterline. Of line. course, it becomes more, but for me, why, white stands really out, which the next look has the white, but more than the white on this look, genuinely asking me, I would take the cotton, and if you guys feel like the white to pop up the eyes, it will be too light then. So instead of white, I would prefer to take a base, which I do always in films, because white looks at really, like if you look in the 80s and 70s, Rekha and all those actresses, they used to use a lot of white with those artificial lower lashes. But today, you don't really do it so much. We use it, we use it in some instances, like you'll see it probably in the next look. I guess. Yeah, in the next look it has, but oh. in this look, if you go on to use a color to pop out the color more, I would use You're doing a the natural same eye? base for a natural look. What I love doing is take the same color base or whatever, it, like whichever you color you have, use. and use it 
in the waterline. So just see? maybe a tinge of it, like a tinge very of it, little. Just, but then right. it doesn't look Because you've done an, a natural eye anyway. So if you use the white, um, it would might it might just kind of like look a little bit odd. Little odd because it's not really a strong eye. For the next look, you guys will see because it's more it, a different it look. It complements it then. Yeah. So, but for this look, I would say I would stay with the natural eye color. All right. Thank you so much. Welcome. Any more questions? All right. For Shan and Jacqueline here. Can we have a huge round of applause? Yeah, we did it. Yeah. And I have to say, you look stunning, stunning, and you did absolutely amazing here. Thank, Thank you. you. We all, we all excited for this look, and I'm excited for this look too. Yay. So all of us, we're going to take a 15 minute break, but while you're leaving, you're going to get a personalized kit. Okay, yeah, go ahead. And just to inform all of you that you will get this <laughs> Decode off this look have? in your personalized kit. So, yeah. This is Shanu's personal mirror, right? Is that right? Take more banana. Come on, ready? 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 Come on, Uh, hi Jacqueline, you look so gorgeous and great job, like seriously great job. Uh, I had a question for you, uh, basically I have a really really oily skin, so I needed you know three or four maybe as many tips as you can give for oily skin when you're applying makeup. Okay, they have this amazing matte. Jackie doesn't have really oily skin, that's why I don't use, but we have used it still once on a shoot. Body Shop has this amazing uh, mattening, yeah, a cream. I don't know where it is gone. Can you just show it? Yeah, that foundation, that white tube. The white tube? Yeah, to mattify the face. It's really nice. It's like almost like a pore minimizer. Yeah, where's the white tube? The, the, the matte. Where's that? You know when we used it for that song? So, uh, if you guys really want to have instant matte face, this really does wonders because it helps to uh, uh, close the pores and um, it's really control nice. It's shine. like control the shine. Yeah. So, if you guys have really oily skin, I would say apply a product like this before so that it absorbs. But otherwise, um, I think. Also, maybe be careful of highlighter. Like if you're prone to very oily skin, you don't know? use highlighter because highlighter gives you the same effect of a shiny skin. So yeah. try to avoid highlighter, and also always carry uh, the amazing compact powder. So use of more body like shop. matte, um, less shine. Every anything in your contouring and your blusher, um, just make sure that they're all matte. And always carry a, a compact powder. powder. Yes. Always. Yeah. <laughs> That's the easiest to yeah, me. Yeah. But I would say use a mattifying cream before. Applying and the matte else. foundation as well. Yeah. Thank you so much. Welcome. She looks happy. She looks happy. <laughs> like really I've good got makeup it. on though. Yeah. She has done really good makeup. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. Hi, I loved your hair flip. That was crazy. Oh, you look beautiful. She delivered it flip. I was like ready to get that full look, but she was like, okay, let me come a little bit slower. But we did capture that. Anyways, <laughs> uh, I wanted to ask, what does the difference, does a transparent mascara really mix? Like, oh, yes, what does it mix? Okay, where's okay. okay. Body Shop makeup artist? I can tell you guys. Okay, transparent mascara is basically hmm. mascara to keep your, it's like a gel. Did you use it today? It's, Yes. Ah, here. <laughs> He's used it. <laughs> I used it. She always asked me to use it, but I'm so lazy usually mm. to use it. And it's so funny so, but it, it says... It's... Brow and lash gel. <laughs> okay. It's the same thing, basically. 
if you guys don't want that mascara look, if you guys apply this, it gets you that really separated look, which looks like, like watery. So <laughs> for that it's used. <laughs> and to keep your lash, uh, brows stay in a place, so it doesn't move at all. Which Basically for your brows, brows, by the way. <laughs> lash don't don't use it much. <laughs> Lash. <laughs> She's not letting go. It's, it's really good. <laughs> Apply it like it's really good. <laughs> and <laughs> any see, see? As a primer. Okay, so so it's supposed to be used as a mascara primer, primer. but there are different uses. Is mascara. that? <laughs> I'll kill me. I'm completing you, Shalom. Okay. okay. Any more questions? Any more questions? Dark circles tips. Um, dark circle. Always, if you have dark circles, carry uh, extra color with you, like like a, a primary color, like yellow, whatever your undertone is. If you have extreme uh, dark circle problem, otherwise, what you guys can do is also you guys can use a foundation which is exactly the same shade first, which is your under eye, and then apply the shade of the whole face. So what happens is it cuts away the grayness. Otherwise, if you guys notice, sometimes it becomes really gray towards the end of the day, the under eye or the mouth area if you have pigmentation problem. So make sure that you guys have a product which can cut uh, the grayness or use the same color of your darkness as a concealer first and then use your foundation. Yeah, make sure you blend. I mean, like you would use concealer probably or like you said, then a lighter foundation or the same color foundation as your face. And yeah. then on top of that, use something else. Darker first. See, Jackie has no dark circle at all. Like even after I cleaned her under eye, you guys saw, she has really no dark circle. Mm. So um, certain, especially Jackie is really uh, lighter in shade also. Like when you go with pigmentation in a, the reddish side, that's when you see also more problems. Like um, So for our skin color, um, what is the pigment, I mean, what is the pigment you it's use? It's usually yellow. If you guys noticed, in Indian skin tone, we... Uh, Probably we, the yellow one. Yellow one. So if you have a yellow concealer, it cuts all the problems away. And I would definitely say, I mean, like after, if we use, if you're using kajal, if you're using some kind of eyeshadow, make sure that that part is cleaned. Um, exactly. Completely, because it ends up falling and then, you know, so any excess and stuff, just make sure it's brushed off, it's cleaned, and then maybe apply a little bit more concealer and powder along that area. And some people are, they take also more time with the eyes. So you guys can start with the eyes, clean it up, and then use the base also. It's easier. Yeah. 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 All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. And she looks gorgeous. Can we uh, have a round of applause for both of them? Yeah. Done. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Look 